Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bice with today's Excel blog post. Today we're going to take a look at a formula that I created that allows you to copy down a block of cells and have those repeat but when that list changes, either when more is added to it or some is taken away, it will automatically adjust your list accordingly and just repeat the items that are in that list. So let's take a look and see how we can do that in Excel. So on my worksheet here, I have a tab called Cities, and you can see I have five cities listed under the header of Cities. And on my repeat tab, I have an area that I want to copy those down and have those repeat. And you can see it in those five cities that we had, Detroit through Reno. With my formula, they repeat as many times as I have as I copy those down. If I grab the bottom and drag it down more, they'll continue to copy all the way down. Now here's the formula that we use to accomplish this. And with that formula, we use the functions if, is blank, indirect, row, rows, and counter. And the formula breaks down like this. If, as you copy it down, this cell reference is blank, then run this indirect formula with rows and counter. If not, then just give me that cell. So if I did it in a multi-part way, basically what we're doing is this. I want to say equals this cell here, hit enter, and if I copy that down, notice that it gives me the cities I want up until a point where it gets to a blank. When it gets to a blank, I then want to say equals this top cell here, hit enter, and copy that down, and notice that matches what I've done with my formula. The problem, though, is if I change this, let's say I delete Reno, with my formula, that automatically adjusted. Now I just have four cities in my list. But the manual way, or the multi-part way, doesn't adjust accordingly, and I'd have to go back and make some changes. So that doesn't give me what I want, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And let's walk through the formula that I've created to see how that works. So again, to talk through the breakdown of the formula, the if statement says, if, when we look at the cities tab, and whatever row we're on, and the first one would be uh, cell A2, or the row for cell A2, which is row 2, so that's going to say cities A2. If that's blank, then run this indirect formula here. If it's not blank, then just give me cities A2. And as that's copied down, that will say indirect cities A and row 3. And if that's blank, run this. If not, then just give me cities A3. And that will work for every case that there is a name in column A under cities, in the cities tab. As soon as it hits a blank, then we need to run this second indirect formula here, which contains the functions indirect, rows, and counter. And what that formula, or what that portion of the formula does, is gives me the cell at the top of the list and copies that for the first time that it finds a blank. After that, it just keeps copying the next cell and the next cell and the next cell. So let's take a look at how that portion of my formula works. And that's right here, starting with indirect. So if I click in here and I select reference text, you'll see that's the portion of the formula that I want to see how it works. I'm going to go down to the first point at which this repeats. So we have Detroit, Cleveland, Pittsburgh, Baltimore, Detroit. So in cell a6 is the first one where I need it to go back to the top and give me cell A2. So let's see how it does that. Again, I'm going to click back in here and click on Reference Text. And you can see it takes Repeat, which is the tab name, and A for column A, and concatenates that with this portion with the rows and counter functions, which will give me the number. The rows function in this case is A2 to A6, so that's five numbers. The counter function where the cities column is in column A is four cities plus a header which is five, 
minus 2, so that gives me 3. So I have 5 from the rows minus 3 from the counter function, so that gives me 2. So when I hit F9 here, you'll see I get repeat A2. So it says give me what is in cell A2 on the repeat tab, which is the first one there, Detroit. So if we go down to the next one, Cleveland, I want it to say cell A3. So we go back to my indirect function, select that, and what we have here is rows A2 to A7, so that gives me 6, and the counter, which we know is 4 cities plus 1, 5 for the header, minus 2 is 3. 6 minus 3 is going to be 3. I hit F9, I get repeat cell A3. And as I copy that formula down, it'll give me cell A4, A5, etc., which will just continuously repeat the cells that we have here. And again, if I add any more, let's say I add Reno and I add Tulsa, now I have six cities plus my header is seven. I go back to here, notice it's added Reno, Tulsa, Reno, Reno, Tulsa to my list, and my indirect formula again will automatically adjust to the number of cities in my list so that it goes back to the top and picks the top one and then copies it down and continues that sequence as we go through. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.